Welcome along to an impromptu episode of TUI Transfer Talk and it's the big one, the inevitable one. Southampton Football Club can confirm it has reached an agreement with Liverpool for the transfer of Virgil van Dijk and it will formally go through on January the 1st when the window opens. Now a fee has been agreed for £75 million and it's setting a new world record for a defender. Now I'm here to give you my initial reaction to the news. I think inevitably we knew it was going to happen. It's, it was obvious and pretty clear this season that he was only going through the motions. There was no real intent from Van Dijk this season. I think it's clearly had an effect on his teammates and the management too. Pellegrino's had a bit of a, a duff deal this season, trying to reintegrate him back into the squad since his head was turned in the summer. I'm glad we got this out of the way early because we, what we didn't want is another saga that went on through the entire summer like it did earlier this year. And it looks like we got it on our terms, 75 million. Now we also understand that there will be a sell-on fee going to Celtic in a region of about 10% which will be about seven and a half million. But the question is, is how much will be reinvested into the squad? And in theory, we've got about 65 million pounds to do so. We're in desperate need of some reinforcements to bring back our season back on track. And I think we're in desperately need of some commitment from the players, especially a driving fearless forward, attacking natural goal scorer and some competition. And that's for Fraser Forster, who's become complacent this season. I think we just need some sheer quality to add to the already, which is a good squad on paper, and hopefully bring some excitement back to the fans. Now, does this also mean going for a different manager with some attacking ideas, which were promised in the summer from Les Reed? I'm sure we'll wait and see. We've obviously got this 75 million kitty now. Do we pay off Pellegrino and go for somebody else? According to the trusted journalists that we know, uh, we've wanted a big payment up front, the 70 million because we plan to be quite active in the January window and apparently we're already in for a forward. Now we were saying before this whole thing concluded sort of in the summer, anyone but Liverpool. But 75 million for a player whose attitude has been toxic. It's fair to say that he was sulking pretty much at every opportunity. And after the whole summer saga with Liverpool backing off, issuing that statement saying sorry, I think, boys, we're laughing now. Now, of course, there will be a few Liverpool fans that will watch this. And I think what you'll get, Van Dijk is obviously a quality player. And he's someone who will bring raw strength, power, pace, aerial presence and leadership at the back, which I believe you've been desperately been needing this season and beyond that. Now, I'm not going to say too much else into this, but I'll leave it up to you in the comments. So 75 million for Van Dijk. The question is now is how and what Saints do next. Boot up the black box, Les, because we I hope that we are in for a busy winter period. Otherwise, we are heading for the championship if there's no immediate improvement. Yours sincerely, Saints fans. Now, anyway, let me know your reaction to the Virgil van Dijk transfer news and what should Saints do next. Leave us your likes, your comments and subscribe for more.